here please consider hitting that subscribe button and to the returning viewers i love you so much and thank you for being part of lily's rams now Honorable David Sankok is a nominated member of parliament representing people with disabilities. He is one of Deputy President William Ruto's foot soldiers when it comes to national politics. The vocal politician has been thrown into deep mourning after his 15-year-old son, Mimusi Sankok committed suicide by shooting himself on the chin after a heated argument with him using his father's shotgun. The boy is said to have committed suicide after disagreeing with his father about returning back to school. Mimusi was a student at Kiricho High School and was supposed to join Form 3. The family said that the boy was not contented with Kericho High School and he wanted to switch schools. However, his father was not for the thought and wanted his son to go back to school. However, even after being given shopping money, Memusi did not return home and he has been missing for quite some time. And when he finally came, his father mentioned that he wants him to go back to school but he was not very comfortable with the whole idea so he went to his room and looked for his shotgun and shot himself on the chin now Azimiola Umoja party leader together with other politicians have condoled with the nominated MP through his uh, social media account, Raila Odinga gave his condolence message from his wife Aida and himself. He also noted that it is painful to lose a child and bury them. He wished Sankok a fortitude during these uh, trying times as he mourns his son. However, looking back when Raila Odinga lost his son Fidel Castro, Sankok made a very insensitive comment, but unlike Raila Odinga, he showed him a lot of empathy and because he has lost a child earlier and buried a child, he knows how painful it is for Sankok right now. Police have already begun investigations on the suicide of Sankok's son. The body of the deceased has been moved to Longisa Sub-County Hospital in Bomet County. The loss of their son is a huge loss to the family of Sankok as the boy was very young and promising. He was literally nipped at the bud. We pray for comfort and strength and our condolences to the Sankok's family during these trying times and these times of grief. I have been your host, Lily Strums. Thank you for being part of us. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and share it. See you on the next video.